and welcome to Get Started Fast with Sibelius and Surface Pro 3. My name is Toby Sheriff, and in this video, I'll demonstrate the new features in Sibelius which take advantage of the Surface Pro 3 and Surface Pen. We'll look at inputting and erasing notes, navigating the score, making selections, and entering annotations. Working with the Surface Pen is quite simple and only takes a few minutes to get familiar with these new concepts. Let's take a look at the Surface Pro 3 Pen. The pen features three buttons, two of which will be used by Sibelius, the eraser button and the right-click button. If you're familiar with the functionality of the pen in other Microsoft applications, you will find it quite easy to use in Sibelius. The right-click button serves as a tool for selecting items, while the eraser button will exit note input mode and menus. The top button is currently reserved for launching Microsoft OneNote, so we can safely ignore it for the remainder of this video. Before we begin entering notes, you might want to drag the keypad to the left side of the screen, or the right side if you're left-handed. This will allow you to access the keypad without lifting your palm from the surface. It can also help to place the surface on a flat work area. If at any point you feel that the accuracy of the pen is not quite right, you can choose to calibrate it. Just tap or click on the Start menu, type Calibrate, and select Calibrate the screen for pen or touch input. This dialog will give you the option to calibrate your pen to fix any accuracy issues. To enter notes, just click on Input Notes under Note Input on the ribbon, select a note value from the keypad, and tap the pen on the staff. You will notice that Sibelius ignores palm input, so it's safe to rest your hand on the screen. As the tip of the pen nears the screen, a ghost note will appear indicating the tip's position. To exit Note Input Mode, press the Pen's Erase button. That's the button closest to the surface. The pen must be close to the screen in order to exit Note Input Mode this way. When using the pen, you may find it faster to access the Undo and Redo buttons in the application title bar instead of the keyboard shortcuts. It is possible to navigate around the score without leaving Note Input Mode. Just use a finger to drag the score. Or, if you prefer, press and hold the Pen's right-click button that's the button above the Erase button, and drag the score with the pen. To zoom in and out, pinch and stretch with your fingers. This works whether you're in Note Input Mode or not. You might find it easier to have the score follow you while you enter notes. To enable this option, go to File, Preferences, Score Position. Select Center Selection and try entering notes this way. The score will adjust itself as you input notes, so you don't have to keep repositioning your hand. There are a couple of different options when it comes to making selections with the pen. To make a passage selection, which encompasses a passage and all attached objects, just press and hold the right-click button, drag the tip of the pen across the score, and lift the pen when you are finished. To deselect the selection, press the pen's erase button. To make an object selection, or a selection of individual objects, first select an object by tapping it with the pen. Press and hold the pen's right-click button, and tap on other objects. They will be added to the original selection. Again, press the Erase button to deselect. You may have noticed that some things function the same way on both pen and mouse. Double tap or double click a bar to select an entire line, or triple tap to select the entire line throughout the score. Erasing objects with the pen is also quite simple. Press and hold the pen's erase button and tap an object. You can also erase entire selections. With a passage or multiple objects selected, hold the erase button and tap the selection. Annotation is a new feature to Sibelius and it allows you to draw in your score using either the pen or the mouse. To enter an annotation, tap on Annotate under Review on the ribbon. Then, just draw on the score. The surface is pressure sensitive, so you can press harder to create a thicker line. If you make a mistake, just hit undo. It works on a stroke by stroke basis. To move an annotation, exit annotation mode and hold and drag it. Sibelius will automatically group individual strokes into a single annotation. You can hide or show your annotations by selecting annotations in the view section of the ribbon. Annotations are great for reviewing, proofreading, and providing feedback to students, and can be entered very easily with just the pen. 
With the new optimization for Surface Pro 3, Sibelius allows some tasks that would conventionally be performed in the studio to be carried out anywhere at any time. Certain workflow aspects, such as editing and proofreading, can now be accomplished with a smaller, portable, and more accessible setup. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out more Sibelius videos and features at Avid Blogs and also on the Avid web.